Hi everybody and welcome to 120. Um, 3G, 4G, 5G, it's not only about fifth generation of telecom um, you know, technology, it's also about that G stands for government to government. And the past four years of Trump presidency, which we are leaving behind, have seen a head-on collision between anything Chinese and US, including the delisting of three big telco companies from New York Stock Exchange and banning Huawei and ZTE from US markets and markets of allies and otherwise who have followed the uh, guidance of United States or the arm twisting of United States for that matter. Now the interesting thing is that the key developers and suppliers of 5G in the Western Hemisphere are Nokia and Ericsson, which both have heavily underinvested in the technology in R&D in the past 10-15 years and at one point were about to consolidate, be bought out or even be liquidated in more ways than one. But now they're catching up and they're growing. And while Sweden has banned <laughs> the access of Chinese to its market, Huawei and ZTE, guess where the best growth quarter of Ericsson came from last year? And that was in China on the back of the high demand for 5G. I guess what I'm trying to invite you to think of is that we cannot grow on the back of the huge demand in China and then keep them at bay and push them back. This can only go so far. And if I remember um, Sun Tzu in The Art of War, he says, begin by seizing something that your opponent holds dear, then he will be amenable to your will. To co-grow together is better than just pushing back, because very soon China will come back and say, dear Mr. Ericsson, you're not welcome here because we're not welcome in Sweden as well. Just to leave you with some thoughts in between. Keep healthy, keep well, and do subscribe.